nanotechnology applied to health sciences contains new devices used in surgery, new chips for better diagnostic, new materials for substituting body structures, and some structures capable to carry drugs through the body for treatment of diseases. These structures can be made of a lot of different materials, and they are very different in structure and chemical nature. All these nanostructures are called nanocarriers and they can be administered into the organisms by topical and transdermal routes. The main advantages of using nanocarriers arise from their peculiar features, such as their tiny size, their composition, their architecture, their high surface energy, and their attached molecules. Those nanocarriers can penetrate biological membranes to deliver drugs for specific diseases. Advances with regard to materials, fabrication methods, and techniques facilitate the development of new and better nanocarriers. Nonetheless, future research must ensure the benefit and evaluate the risk ratio for many drugs included in these nanostructures. Over time, the skin has become an important route for drug delivery in which topical or systemic effects are desired. Nevertheless, the skin forms an excellent barrier and presents difficulties for the transdermal delivery of therapeutic agents since few drugs have the characteristics required to permeate across the stratocorneum, insufficient quantities to reach a therapeutic concentration in the blood. In order to enhance drug transdermal absorption, Different methodologies have been investigated, developed, and patented. Improvement in physical permission enhancement technologies has led to renewed interest in transdermal drug delivery systems. Some of these novel advanced transdermal permeation enhancement techniques include the use of transdermal nanostructures. The present article shows an updated overview of the use of soft micron particles and other nanostructures in the pharmaceutical field, specifically in the area of topical and transdermal drug delivery. This focus is justified due to the magnitude of the experimental data available with the use of these nanostructures.